hi and today i want to show you guys how this palm oil was bleached without fire i actually bleached this red palm oil without using fire now you can see the color has changed from red and now looking like a vegetable oil now the purpose of this video is not for cooking you don't use this oil for cooking because it was bleached with chemicals it's for those that are into cosmetics like the soap making body cream and every other thing that needs oil so i'll show you how to bleach a palm oil without using fire so you can see how my oil looks like so i'll show you how this was done over here is my red palm oil and my other ingredients and equipment i will need for this project now bleaching of palm oil is actually advantageous when you are doing it with chemicals this is because palm oil is very flammable you don't want fire to be in your house while trying to bleach your palm oil with fire also bleaching palm oil in your neighborhood can cause a lot of toxic smell because it has a very bad fume which can cause people to choke so you don't want to become a nuisance in your environment bleaching your palm oil in your compound and making everybody run out of the compound so in order to bleach your palm oil without causing problems with yourself and your neighbors you have to do it with chemicals so i'll show you how this was done i'm making use of two chemicals which is the hydrogen peroxide and sulfonic acid for one liter of palm oil bleaching I will use 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide that is 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide for a liter of bleaching palm oil if you want to bleach one liter of palm oil 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide and 10 ml of sulfonic acid is needed for one liter implying that if you want to bleach two liters you simply increase the ml for two liters you use 20 ml of both chemicals for three liters you use 30 ml of both chemicals for four liters you, you use 40 ml of both chemicals you can see this is very simple for 10 liters of palm oil you use 100 ml of both chemicals for 20 liters of palm oil they are using 200 ml of both chemicals you can see this calculation is very simple the higher the quantity you are bleaching you also increase your sulfonic acid and hydrogen peroxide using the um, increasing method i've showed you or and for the examples i've showed you just use that method i mean increasing it like that it's very simple it's not hard so i'll put both chemicals into my palm oil and i will stir them this oil will be bleached under 20 minutes but notwithstanding you can still keep it for 24 hours for you to bleach properly but 20 minutes is enough just in case you want to make your soap that very day but if you're on your if you're not on a hurry you can keep it for 24 hours the following day and you still see the result if you're not on a hurry so for my own project i will keep it for 24 hours because i was actually trying to rush home from my workshop i was already running out of time so i needed to bleach it then get home so i came back the following day and it was actually bleached looking like every other regular vegetable oil you know in the market it had the color of a vegetable oil those popular vegetable oil that you know in the market that was how my palm oil came out looking it didn't have that redness again so we will see the res and the end result of this bleaching at the end of this video so just watch and see the magic of bleaching your palm oil without using fire with just two chemicals hydrogen peroxide and sulfonic acid these chemicals you can actually purchase them at chemical store where they sell chemicals you just go to your chemical shop where you buy your soap chemicals like for your palm kernel oil and your other chemicals you buy or you purchase you will see these chemicals they sell them there the hydrogen peroxide and the sulfonic acid you all know sulfonic acid if you are into liquid soap production those that make liquid soap or liquid detergent you should know sulfonic acid is sold at chemical shop so after 24 hours i came the following day this was the result you can see my palm oil is no longer looking red inside is having the look or the color of every regular vegetable oil you know in the market it even looks like palm kernel oil if you are a user of palm kernel oil you will know that this is how palm kernel oil looks like it has the color of a palm kernel oil so we have succeeded in bleaching our palm oil but my palm oil is actually sleeping so i want to wake it up you know when palm oil sleeps now it is congeals it looks very thick so i want to warm it so that it will look 
watery and not thick again. So I'm going to warm it on my electric stove. You can use any stove of your choice to warm your oil. It must not be electric stove. If you have kerosene stove or gas, use it to warm your oil. So you can see my I have succeeded in warming my oil. It's not looking watery again, but it's not looking red. It's looking like it's literally looking like palm kernel oil. It's having the color of palm kernel oil. So you can see I have succeeded in bleaching my palm oil from red to yellow color. You can see this is no longer red. Or it looks like every regular vegetable oil out there. So we are going to test this with I will test this with paper. If you want to know if your palm oil has been fully bleached, you simply test it with a white paper. If it doesn't stain the paper, just know that it has bleached. But if it stains the paper, know that it has not fully bleached. So if you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to follow me, don't forget to share this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to drop your comments. Most especially follow me so that you'll be updated by my newest and latest video. So you can see my paper has not been stained. But if your own paper is stained, add more of your sulfonic acid and hydrogen peroxide for it to bleach more. Maybe it has not fully bleached, that's why it stained your paper. But if it's not stained, it means that your palm oil has been fully bleached. Thank you for watching, goodbye and see you all next time.